Today, we honor the achievements of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who fought to end racial segregation and often said amazing things like this. And I want to say to everybody under the sound of my voice this afternoon that you are somebody. Don't let anybody make you feel that you are nobody. You are somebody, you have dignity, you have worth. Don't be ashamed of yourself and don't be ashamed of your heritage. Don't be ashamed of your color. Don't be ashamed of your hair. I am black and beautiful and not ashamed to say it. One publication said that his legacy inspires us to continue working towards a more just and equitable world. But did you know that certain Mormon leaders strongly disliked Martin Luther King Jr. and the civil rights movement? Ezra Taft Benson specifically spoke against Dr. Martin Luther King and his efforts. In his general conference address spoken in April of 1965 that was later edited due to negative backlash, Elder Benson stated, Before I left for Europe, I warned how the communists were using the civil rights movement to promote revolution and eventual takeover of this country. When are we going to wake up? What do you know about the dangerous civil rights agitation in Mississippi? Do you fear the destruction of all vestiges of state government? Do homework. Brethren, if we had done our homework and were faithful, we could step forward at this time and help save this country. And in the book, An Enemy Hath Done This, published in 1969, Benson also recorded that Dr. Martin Luther King was a notorious liar, disobedient to laws, and that his opinions were unjust. And after this, the church continued its push against the civil rights movement and did not allow people of color to hold the priesthood until 14 years after segregation had legally ended. In the past, the church has not been a supporter of the civil rights movement, nor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And yet in 2022, current Mormon prophet Russell M. Nelson celebrated Martin Luther King Jr. Day and said in an Instagram post, I like to think that my friend Amos and I are, in a small way, the embodiment of Dr. King's vision, that people from different backgrounds and races can sit down together at the table of brotherhood. And Nelson ended his post by saying, I reiterate what was taught in the Book of Mormon, that black and white, bonded and free, male and female are all alike unto God. May God continue to bless us as we labor together to lead out in abandoning attitudes and actions of prejudice. Do you think the Mormon prophet would also reiterate the teachings of the Book of Mormon? That God cursed people because of their iniquity? And that they might not be enticing unto my people? The Lord God did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them? It's interesting that one prophet can decry the efforts of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., while another prophet can claim that they are the embodiment of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s efforts.